Creative Maths brings you Maths Games for Fluency Factor Detector Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. In this video I'm going to introduce a new puzzle we call Factor Detector. It is a great way to develop fluency around multiplication facts and it is a fun logic puzzle. We have created a range of puzzles with different difficulties for children and adults. See in the description below for where you can download them. We will solve a 4x4 factor detector puzzle. The aim is to place the 8 numbers listed on the right into the grid on the left. Here is a completed puzzle. You can see that there are 2 numbers in each row and 2 in each column. The numbers in each row multiply to give the product at the end of the row. The numbers in each column multiply to give the product at the bottom of the column. Now we will work through how you might go about solving a factor detector puzzle. We will start by looking at where the 5 can go. I usually use 5 or 7 to start with. We can see that 5 goes evenly into 40 and into 35, but there are no other rows or columns the 5 could go in. 40 and 35 are the only multiples of 5 in the puzzle. So we put the 5 into the cell that is in the 35 row and the 40 column. We cross out the 5 as we have used it. We know that 35 is 5 times 7, so we know the 7 will go in this row and now we need to work out which column to put it in. 7 does not go into 4 or 6, but it does go into 42, so we put the 7 in the column with 42 at the bottom and cross off the 7. 7 times 6 equals 42, so we can put 6 in the 42 column. But where? 6 goes into 18 and not into 32 or 2, so we'll put the 6 in the 18 row and cross off the 6. I think I'll look at the 40 column now. 5 times what is 40? 5 times 8 is 40. 8 does not go into 18 or into 2, but 8 does go into 32, so that is where I will put it. Cross off the 8. 8 times 4 is 32, so we're now going to need to put a 4 into the 32 row. And it will go over the 4, as 4 times 1 equals 4. Let's finish off the 18 row. 6 times 3 equals 18. The 3 goes into the 6 column. Now we'll need a 2 in that column which will go on the bottom row and we finish off with a 1 in the row with the 2 and the column with 4. Now we check that all the rows and columns multiply to the correct result. 7 times 5 is 35, 6 times 3 equals 18, 4 times 8 equals 32, 1 times 2 equals 2. And now the columns. 7 times 6 equals 42, 4 times 1 equals 4, 3 times 2 equals 6, 5 times 8 equals 40. And thus it is solved. This video has been about the factor detector puzzle. See in the description below for links to other fluency games and resources and to download factor detector puzzles. Please like this video, subscribe, but most of all join the channel, especially if you're using our videos in your teaching. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible. And special thanks to my super supporters Rana Alzamil and Kiwi Kid in the USA. Thanks.